Well, it's that time again. Um, this is becoming something of a tradition, I would say. I have another parcel from the States. Um, this is partly made up of some pedals that I lent to my good friend Brian uh, a couple of months ago that he has returned to me. However, there are some extra things in here that uh, I'm very excited to dig in and try out. Some of them are from Brian himself. Some have been sent to me via him and uh, just to kind of save on customs and postage charges and whatever else. So let's dig in. I'm very, very excited. I've been waiting quite a while for what's in here. And uh, oh, I have ripped off the uh, shipping label here as well because last time I did not do that. And uh, you can go back and watch that unboxing video to see how I uh, managed to shield my address from you doxing folk. But uh, yeah, it was a bit of a tedious job to do and uh, I thought I'm not doing that again. So uh, okay, we're uh, making short work of this. It has been packaged very well though. Okay, we're in. Oh yeah. Now some of these boxes, as usual, um, bear no relation whatsoever to what is actually inside them. Apart from these two. Uh, these definitely have... I'm going to start with this one because I'm really excited for this. This is... Oh, come on, here we go. The Zero G IOD. Oh yeah, let's, let's dig in here. I can't wait to uh, see this in the flesh. Ooh, I've got a sticker. Cool. That's a nice, cool hologram one as well. Definitely going to be putting that up somewhere. What have we got here? Oh, there's a little, uh, how cool is that? A little manual printed on a single piece of paper, like a business card almost. That's cool. I'm going to have to uh, hold on to that for reference. Oh, some more badges. Uh, badges. Stickers, I mean. Cool. Another one in here as well. Oh, I like that one. That's really cool. I like the hologram ones. Oh, there's a badge as well. There is a badge. Very cool. Cheers, dude. Oh, let's dig into this. Oh, look at this baby. Oh, i got to get the knobs at noon. Check that out. That, my friends, is sublime. That looks so good. A tiny little toggle switch. That's the smallest toggle switch I've ever seen on a pedal. Um, soft click foot switches and a momentary foot switch there. Uh, it says end. I presume that's like a kill switch, like a stutter thing. I will confirm that, uh, obviously, in the demo. Um, yeah, I'm oh, super excited to try these. This is so cool. I just love the look of it. Um, oh, I didn't even notice before the wave. You've got the uh, the classic uh, print. I can't remember the artist, the Japanese dude that painted the original. I love that artwork. Very, very cool looking pedal. Cannot wait to dive into that one. I'm going to have to uh, put this away carefully. Not going to get that uh, scratched or anything. Keep that little manual with it. Awesome. Very excited. Okay. So that's one side. Bubble wrap. Get rid of that. I've been holding on to too much bubble wrap lately, so I will be throwing a lot of this away for a change. Um, let's go with this one. I don't know what's in here. This might be one that I sent to Brian. This might be one of mine. It is. So, this is the uh, the Nux Rocktory. I sent this over because I uh, told him how great it was and he wanted to, to, to uh, have a little go himself. I think he was very impressed. I have been meaning to make a video of this ever since I got it and I just keep forgetting and not getting around to it. But uh, 
now that I've got it back, I will 100% be making a uh, in-depth video on this bad boy. Fantastic little thing, sis, and uh, definitely an underrated pedal. So, uh, yeah, stand by for a video on that one. It's great to have that back. <laughs> There's a, a random MXR sticker in here. That's, uh, that's rather cool. I've been uh, collecting stickers lately, so I'm going to start uh, putting some of these up around my room. So, uh, make some use of them. What's this one? Aha, this is my Tanto. This is from Gojira FX. The Tanto Distortion. Awesome, awesome distortion pedal based on the way huge Geisha drive, hence the artwork. And um, yeah, I sent this over to Brian for him to try out and uh, he loves it as well. So very, very cool. Glad to have that one back. That will probably go on my board now that I've got that uh, back in my possession. Ah, yes. I forgot about this. Uh, this is Brian's pedal he has uh, lent me to try out and um, I'm very, very excited to uh, to dig in. I'm trying to think if I ever tried one of these um, tone lock pedals. I don't know if I have. I must have. But I can't think of any that I might have owned, so I'm not sure. Very cool to try this one out though, the Tri-Mode Chorus by Ibanez. Very, very uh, intriguing looking pedal. I'll have to uh, have a little bit of a closer look at that one. But I'm intrigued. Next, one of these has got uh, some sources in it for me to try after last time. I'm pretty sure this uh, this next one. I'm pretty sure this isn't the twin bender because Brian loves it too much to part with it right now. Indeed, it isn't. <laughs> He's just such a tease, because I've been wanting to try that thing for so long. This is the Zvex Instant Lo-Fi Junkie in its vertical configuration. Um, yeah, he, uh, he wasn't particularly over the moon with this one, so I'm interested to see how, uh, how, I, how I find it. Love the paint job, though. Look at, uh, look at that. It's like really cool like gold sparkle. That's awesome. Really, really smart that is. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, gonna have to be uh, gonna have to make a video on that one, obviously. And um, I'm very excited to give that a go. I'm putting this in the lid instead of the bottom, like an idiot. Let's uh, put that back together nicely. Keep that nice and clean. Okay, now what? Um, I think this one's probably going to be sources. Yes, it is. How did I know? <laughs> Some of these I've tried before. Um, the Polynesian sauce. So good. That Chick-fil-A one. Um, it's really, really nice. I've not tried it. Oh, we've got a lot of the um, Donald's ones from, um, from the uh, States. Szechuan. Haven't tried that one before. Obviously, the Rick and Morty fans. All know that one. Very keen to try it myself because it never reached our shores. Now what? Uh, oh, past effects. I've been looking forward to getting these back. These are mine. That uh, Verly sent to me direct to make demos with. So I, uh, I've been eager to get these back in my possession. If I can figure out how to open the damn box. There we go. Oh yes. Great to have these back. The Chorus Ensemble Mini. That's the uh, MN3007 version. And the wonderful Elastic Mattress. The prototype. Very, very cool. Over the moon to have this back. I love this damn thing. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So, moving on, I'm trying to race through these as much as I can. Aha, this is, of course, 
This is the one I've tried before. This is my pedal I sent over to Brian to try out. The Smashbox, fantastic pedal. Really surprised me how much I liked this. Um, I think because a lot of uh, distortion pedals from this era that had crazy names, um, you know, for <laughs> for uh, for what they did, kind of uh, all have a similar reputation. I think they uh, they all tend to be uh, extremely harsh sounding distortions. So when I saw this, the Smashbox. Uh, going cheap on eBay, I thought, oh, I'll buy that just to try it and uh, probably make a, a video mocking it. And um, it's actually really, really good. It sounds phenomenal and uh, brutal distortion. So, yeah, I was very pleasantly surprised by that one. Aha! Now, this is an interesting one. I was contacted a while back on Reddit by a mysterious user who said that he had bought himself one of these pedals. I think, no, I think he said he pre-ordered it. Um, no, no, that's right, no, he bought this and um, really loved it. And in fact, he loved it so much that he bought himself a second one, uh, but in white. He said he wanted a white version just because I guess, but that meant that uh, the second one, the, the, sorry, the first one that he bought, this one, was going spare. That he didn't really have a need for it, and that uh, he didn't even that he was comfortable enough financially that he didn't need to sell it. So he said that uh, because he was a uh, a fan, I guess, of my work or uh, at least my. Um, uh, my moderating skills or uh, efforts online, that he wanted to reward that with a free pedal. So he very, very kindly, like stupidly generously of him, gave this to me, um, which was awesome. And I wish I could give him a shout out, uh, except for the fact that he has since deleted his account. So I can no longer get hold of him. I have no idea if he's still on there at all. I'll have to uh, make a post on there at some point and see if somebody comes forward and uh, claims to be him or not. But uh, whoever you are, wherever you are, thank you very much for this. I know Brian tried this and completely fell in love with it. And uh, I think he's keen to buy it off me <laughs> um, uh, at some point. But I personally... Do not have a dog in the race on this one. I am pretty... Um, anybody, anybody who knows me um, will know that I'm pretty... Uh, what's the word? Um, cynical about expensive boosts, overdrives, you know, light, anything light gain, anything that's subtle but costs the earth, I'm not a fan of. I, I just don't believe the hype. So, stuff like this is really not on my radar normally. Um, but uh, Brian insists that this is absolutely sublime. So, I'm very keen to try this one. Um, cool sticker and a plectrum in the box as well. So, um, some interesting info I think on this uh, little card that's in here as well. I need to give all of this a read. Um, later on but yeah very intrigued to try that one and I will try to keep an open mind which I think will be easier uh, not having any money invested in it whatsoever um, so I'm gonna be able to do a completely uh, objective review of that pedal so I'm uh, looking forward to uh, digging into that one Bubble wrap, I can get rid of that. Okay, two more left. Let's go with this one. This is from Brian, for me to borrow. This is the Keeley Fuzzbender. Some stickers in there, but uh, it's not my pedal, so I don't feel like I can keep them. 
It's a little bit dusty from its journey across the pond. That's uh, That's got a really nice powder coating to it. That's uh, really, really nice up close in person. I like that. I've heard a lot of love for this pedal. Um, I don't remember what it's based on. I presume it's a tone bender uh, base uh, that it has just mods to and uh, extra features. Bias, control, EQ options for the bass and treble. And then obviously fuzz level knobs as well. Um, very nice pedal, very cool, and uh, will make a fine addition to an upcoming fuzz shootout video that I'm planning. So, it'll be cool to have this featured amongst the other pedals that I'm planning on uh, using for that video. Um, and this is the first Keeley pedal that I've had in my possession. So, uh, looking forward to uh, giving that a go. Now, Last but not least, the Catbox Customs Bean Machine V2. Now, oh, there's some, there's a ton of box candy going on in here. Let's have a look at this. Stickers, more stickers. I'm liking these. How cool are these? More stickers. Another sticker. These are awesome. They're all going to go up. Ah, oh, there's another nice little uh, cheat sheet for uh, the controls. Let's uh, have a look at this thing. Because this guy, if you don't know, if you're unaware of what he does, his enclosures are spectacular. Ah, oh, look at that. That is so cool. It's green, it's purple, it's kind of blue, it just changes with the light, and then you've got this glittery sparkle in there as well. Every angle you look at this from is sublime. Oh, look at the back, even the back's all awesome. That's so cool. I don't know if that's coming out on the camera or not. Let's get uh, up close and personal. Mostly looks green from that uh, from in that light. Oh, there we go. There's a bit of, you can see the purple there, and then it changes to green. Really nice, stunning. So, soft click foot switches. Everything feels really nice and solid. Yeah. So, I'm looking forward to uh, to doing a video on this one. This is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, the bean machine. Another fuzz, but loads of options, lots of tweakability going on in there. So uh, that will be immense fun to play with. And huge, huge thanks to Catbox Customs for sending this over to me and also being uh, cool enough to uh, to trust to trust me to uh, give him the um, alternate address to send this over via um, Brian. So... Uh, so Brian got to try this as well, and he uh, was a fan, so uh, I'm looking forward to, to trying this out myself. Okay, I've got a whole bunch of stickers to uh, play with now. Thanks very much for watching. Stand by for upcoming videos of all of these pedals, and uh, it's promising to be a, an exciting couple of months coming up because that's realistically how long it's going to take me to get through the backlog of new stuff that I've had come in lately. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.